Yes, and you know the scripture talks about how it says, Beloved, I wish above all else that you, that you may what? Prosper. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, you know, why is this word exciting? This word is exciting because uh, uh, it has, um, it invokes certain pictures. You know, growing up when we say so and so is prosperous, mm -hmm. that nation is prosperous, mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it invokes certain pictures in our minds. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and, and you know, what, what what do you see when if they tell you somebody is prosperous? What do you what what do you see? What, what do you see? What pictures come? What pictures come into your mind about prosperity? Yes, I mean. And be in health, that thou mayest pros prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. So, uh, how does the soul prosper? It says, you may prosper mm -hmm. as thy soul prospers. So it's like, really? <laughs> nope, that's not what it's saying. <laughs> Don't accuse it. <laughs> it is saying, beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, health mm. even as thy soul prospers. So, so he said, even as thy soul prospers, or prospers. So it's like, this leads to that. Really? <laughs> <laughs> as in, oh, the soul oh. prospering is a prerequisite of, of the outward prospering? So, okay, okay, as in, if we put it in context with that, um, please, uh, 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 viewers on Facebook, we're getting, uh, I don't know if we're clear, are we clear? Just kind of let us know if we're clear, so we can proceed. Uh, yep, prosper, prosper, prosperity. On, on radio, on radio is clear, but uh, we need to get from Facebook yeah. just to confirm. Prosperity. Moses, is it, is it clear on Facebook? Please uh, let us know as well, so we can. You know. It's probably more on radio than on yeah, Facebook. Facebook. But you never know, since it's prospering. <laughs> it's radio and Facebook. <laughs> Yeah, but the, the, the internet is quite good, so it should be uh, among us. <coughs> but it says you, so I think just... No, we, we, we can proceed. Fake, 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 FB and YouTube. Yeah, so it's, so it's, so it's good. It's so good. Yeah. Right, so uh, please 
Yeah, so somebody is saying, so John is writing to the people whose soul is already prospering. So now on top of soul prosper, on soul prosperity, mm -hmm. he wants them to also prosper in other areas. Yeah, is it, is it, it's a question really, more than a... Yeah, and, uh, and that's, why, that's why we have, we've got to come from, from the angle of, of, of the Bible, you know. You know, this is in KJV, so you, you know, if we, see, if we look at the NIV, Mm. Look at other versions. What does it say? Dear friend, this is NIV. I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well. So it's going hand in hand? Yes. Mm. Okay, let's look at the NLT. Uh, it says, Dear friend, I hope all is well with you. All is well. The KJV where? The KJV says, post breath. Here it's saying, all is well. All is well with you, and that you are as healthy in body as you are strong in spirit. What's that? This is a KJV. This is the NLT. NLT. So, 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 so I, I feel as if you don't like this version. Well, I, 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 you know, I, mean, I, I have a problem with it, but it's, it's different from the rest because you are talking it's, about the soul, and now you're talking about the spirit. It's, it's not talking about different things. I think that's. Um, you know, when you do the transition uh, from the old to the new, uh, what, what was mostly called the soul in the Old Testament comes off as, a, as spirit in the New Testament. So I think it's, it's clear that people understand what this is because I feel like it's been hidden from my understanding. If you're talking about two different, the soul and the spirit, it mm. feels like... You know, it's... Dear friend, I hope all is well with you and that you are, you see, I hope all is, all is well with you. He's talking about the outward, mm. material, mm. money. I hope things are all right. And then that you're healthy in body and that you're strong in spirit. He's catering for the whole being. Right. I, I, I like the NLT. I don't know, our viewers, let us know, our listeners, let us know uh, if you see any variation. Or if you see anything, uh, you know, when I look at the, uh, when I see that the, the NLT, it seems to build the picture of be well in body, in mm. spirit, and uh, in soul. Now, no, 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 notice it says, I hope that all is well with you. Uh, you see, what does it take for you to be well mentally? What does it take for me to be well mentally? Mm -hmm. Obviously, I have to, I have to be, I have peace of mind. Mm -hmm. I have to be, uh, bear with us kindly. Uh, I have to, I have to have peace mm -hmm. because absence of peace will affect me mentally. Mm -hmm. It would, uh, you know, be potentially be detrimental to my well-being. So, first, primarily, I have to be at peace. Okay. So I think. <laughs> Let, let's see, uh, Pastor Noah has sent something, uh, the Amplified Version, yeah. uh, the classic edition. Right. So, beloved, I pray that you may what? I pray that you may prosper in, in every way and, and, that, in, and that your body may keep well, mm -hmm. even as I know yeah, your, your soul keeps well and prospers. And prospers. So, yeah. but then that's yeah. a bit confusing as well, Why? because I pray that you prosper in every way mm. and that your body may keep well. Even as I know mm. your soul prosper, because now if my soul is prospering mm. and is well, mm. automatically the uh, external has to just uh, no, no. I, and I think that's why he's writing that. He's probably saying, "Don't ignore the outer, the outward." He's saying, "I know your soul is prospering, but I want that to have an impact on your body. I want your body to prosper." Of course, I'm, I'm struggling with that idea because. Mm. If I'm being governed by a superior reality on the inside, mm. it ought to express itself it externally. It Definitely. I mean, you know, people who are at peace, they, 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 you, people, can, people can be broke and at peace. You right. Know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because the Bible says that therefore being justified by, uh, by faith, we have peace with God. Right. So, so peace comes from, from knowing that you can be in God's presence. Uh, and, and, and your sin and sins are not uh, reckoned or counted against you, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the function of peace. Mm -hmm. So that means that inwardly now you are, 
you're, you're fine. You're yeah, yeah, but you may, you, you may be broke. Can you eat peas? Yeah, you can. Can you take peas to the supermarket and, and shop and shop some stuff? <laughs> no. You know, like yeah. like the old line as we you know usually say, I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love, and they say, okay, wait. Well, I hope I hope you can take it to the supermarket and do some shopping mm. because love won't shop you nothing. <laughs> That's true. You, you see, because. Uh, he says, I pray that you may prosper in every way. Every way. Every way. Um, when you look at, and uh, beloved listeners and, 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 and viewers, if you would look at the, the description of the word soteria or sozo. Soteria or sozo. Mm. Uh, they, they, it has some, uh, in fact, the word prosperity is in there. And you know what you know what that word is? You know what the English word for mm -hmm. salvation. <laughs> I, 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 hope, I hope you're listening guys and um, at this point I should be getting a flood of messages coming in right now because I hope you're asking so it's so -so yes and oh, oh, so -terrier. So -terrier, which is prosperity but components is prosperity is prosperity. But really and truly it's under and the salvation. salvation. And the salvation. Right. So, um, what do you, what, so this is why I ask them. Yeah. Personally, what is your understanding of prosperity personally to you? Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm hoping it's from a biblical standpoint. Or even no, it could be outside, outside that. Mm. What is your understanding of prosperity? Because here we've been told sozo and soteria, soteria isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, prosperity is under, should ought to be under that. Mm. Uh, salvation, mm. which pretty much is what I think you know. Uh, Third John is talking about. Mm. So when you saw this prosper, mm. the extent of what we believe, because I, I I don't know what what we've been raised with the whole concept that prosperity is you know having the fancy things in life and mm. you know being extremely mm. wealthy, you know that's what prosperity. That's how we measure prosperity. Yeah, we come. We talk about yesterday. Uh, and again, guys, if you, you know, in you know, if you are around, always around language, please come through and you know, be a part of our fellowships because they are very exciting, and they it's what really generates the sort of conversations that we have online. Mm. And so yesterday, you talk about you talk about you know how people come to churches and so sort of talk about how they they've prospered and they have a new car and a fancy house and yeah yeah. So and you say it's, there's a bit of uh, things are lost in there. They tend to get lost if, if we evaluate if we evaluate our progress uh, according to uh, outer factors vis-a-vis -vis things then we uh, we will definitely miss the whole idea of uh, salvation mm. and progress in salvation mm. because uh, you know the people who set the foundation for us for us to have the freedom that we have through the blood to, to hear the truth and receive uh, the truth and, and, and then be regenerated and become born again. The, the, the people who laid that foundation, they, 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 they did not esteem some of these characteristics of things that we now esteem right. and, and consider to, to define prosperity or success, so to speak. Um, so for us to actually understand the, the, you know, that word better, we <laughs> would have to start all the way from uh, salvation and what it's about. Because I know that we are, this is, a, uh, this is Christian media, so we, we are discussing things from the biblical point of view. Mm. We, we, we don't have any other uh, angles to, to come through. I mean, if, if it was outright in the world, we, 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 we wouldn't have a discussion right now. Mm. Would say right. so. Yes, you right, know, right. it would be simple and clear cut. Mm. But why are we even having this discussion? Because there's probably all the uh, all the misconceptions, misconceptions, yeah. uh, what we may have misconstrued all the while. Mm. Uh, you know, so we 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 need we need a balanced uh, uh, idea about what prosperity is. 
But let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. And this will probably throw some people off course. You know, what is the purpose of salvation? In my understanding, the purpose of salvation is for me to be closer and closer mm -hmm. to the one true king. That to me is the purpose. That's because the he, pur he essentially came and was in human form. He degraded himself to that form so that he might draw me closer to him. Now, now imagine how dangerous this is. He didn't come to draw you close. He came to be one in mm -hmm. the See, because because if we if we if we if we say drawing closer and closer, we can put off some benefits of salvation. We say, oh, maybe when I feel closer, maybe things will happen to me. You know what I mean? But the the, the actual picture is that from from the day you accept Christ, you you become one with Him. You are united with Him. The Bible says, He that is joined to the Lord is one one spirit. Literally. You don't have two people anymore. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he's a what? New creature. What kind of new creature is this? Christ-like creature. So that means you, you don't exist anymore. Whoever exists is in the image and likeness of Christ. So, okay, so, now, what's the real end game of all of that? <laughs> because that, because they like what you're saying. Yes. Even the Bible says, we haven't fully obtained these things. Yes. So it's, it's, a, it's a walk. I mean, I'm one with him, that's not, that's not going to change. That's but externally, mm. as long as I live, mm. I have, it has not fully manifested. Definitely, definitely. So in my, in my opinion, from that context, it, it, it seems to me that every day is a walk yeah, of... Oh, Yes, the word the was finished. The word the word is sanctification. We right. grow more and more right. Christ like yeah. outwardly. Uh -huh. Even though inwardly we already are like. Mm. Now notice that's the, the, just just this little topic will show you how it's different that we see things. Now notice when I said we are like him, I'm talking about the spirit. spirit right. Then when you say we're growing to be like him, you're talking about the outward. And John is saying, I pray that you may prosper in spirit, body, and spirit, soul, and body. So, prosperity is definitely, I don't know, holistic. Whole. Whole. Because the act of redemption, when Jesus redeems us, his redemption is, 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 is both for the spirit. And he makes a provision for the body where, where, where sickness is concerned. And he makes a provision for the soul uh, where the word will save our souls. You see? So, but, but we have some, you know. Uh, Pastor Larry was saying, but by today's measure of prosperity, Barnabas missed it. Mm -hmm. He had the wealth and instead sold. Mm -hmm. Sold the property and gave the money to the apostles and became an itinerant apostle with, with Paul mm -hmm. and having to work with his hands to support himself, himself in, ministry. In, in ministry. Right. So, so, so you, you see, Barnabas was, he, he, he wasn't a broke dude. Mm. He had quite a bit. Mm. In fact, you know, they had a name for him. Mm. Uh, uh, I'll use my own language, but he was, he was an encourager, a son of encouragement. He was, he was that guy who, when he came around, you knew everything is fine. Mm. We have supper. We have lunch, you know, but but so he he gave all of that up to just go preach the gospel. I, I don't know what was his motivation. What what had he seen? What did he see that made him give up all his uh, wealth uh, to pursue servitude or servanthood with uh, God? through uh, the other apostles. Like, you think about it. Like, imagine, okay, I don't want to imagine like you, but let's see. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see that we, 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 we have, we have other, we have, we, we have a, mm -hmm. uh, he says, you know, and 
and that God suddenly wants his people to have their physical needs. Yeah. I yeah. think literally John in the epistle is expanding on John 10.10. 10. Mm. I came that they might have like Zoe. Yes. And then he goes on, he says, using the amplified version, he says, the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. Mm. I came that I may have life, I may have and enjoy life mm. and have it in abundance to, to the full till it, it overflows. Till it overflows. Right. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, <clears throat> I think... Uh, to, to understand prosperity definitely and you can see it it starts with the inner man right uh, the biggest challenge about how we interpret these words <clears throat> you see like initially when I had the scripture John 10 10 it's come that we may have life and life more abundant what 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 did you first think when you first heard you see it was about a mixture of things but for me, it, for me, it wasn't a mixture of things. Yeah. I just knew, man, God, we're going to have houses. As an answer, like, we're going to have cars, man. Yeah, we're going to have bikes. <laughs> if, you know, if you love bikes, you're going to have phones, if you yeah. like. Yeah. Phones. What? It appealed to my outer senses. So I saw things. So your senses, by your senses, you imply your soul. By my senses, yes, definitely, I imply my soul and my body. I think because based on what you told what you were teaching yeah, yesterday, yes, it's important yeah. that the people get oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I, I forgot I forgot that they, <laughs> they were not there yeah. yesterday. Yeah. So somebody yeah. Out. yeah. Yeah, so prosperity can be from place to place. Uh, from place to place. From uh, place to China. place. China. From place to place, uh, people see prosperity according to the the lenses of what they're going through. Right. Okay. For instance, you know, like the other day we talked about blessings as well. I mean, what's what's prosperity for? What's prosperity for um, a head teacher? What is prosperity? For a head teacher. Uh, Headmaster, headmistress. As much as a definition, what's, how does it work? Do you, what do you think, they want, if they think about prosperity, what do you think they want to, what, what are the parameters of their prosperity? How do you say, think, how do you say that head teacher was prosperous? I think, good? obviously, the students excelling at what they do. I mean, in school being. Oh, okay, now, 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 what about, how, what if you say, well, what is his success? What is his success? <laughs> what is his success? Yeah, yeah. How do you measure his success? That's it. I think you, it's also, I think you measure his success based on the pedigree that he, I mean, what he, he has, ima, ima, what he has managed to, to, to impart. And that's, and we may be mixing those two words. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm getting boiled up in here, and I, I need those questions to come in as speakers. We, we, yeah, um, we may be mixing those. Mm. Well, it's easy. Somebody may be, may be thinking we're talking about success. Success and prosperity. You mean? No, somebody may be thinking we're talking about success, mm. and yet we're talking about prosperity. Prosperity. So it's a difference. Oh yes, definitely. Thanks a lot. Oh, this is going to get interesting. This is going to get interesting. Because prosperity, I think success is a <coughs> uh -huh. byproduct. <laughs> no. Yep, there we go. Mm -hmm. Successful. Prosperous. Mm -hmm. I mean these are things that get thrown, you know, quite a bit. Especially in the church, is mm -hmm. successful, is prosperous. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you measure you measure your success based on how prosperous you are. So okay. If externally you're prosperous, based yeah. on our own definition of prosperity, you're successful. English students, please help us. <laughs> Let's start with some English here. Let's start with some English here. <laughs> but say, uh, uh, Pastor is saying you can be successful without being prosperous. That's it. Please pass it on, expand on that a bit because you know. No, then that's and that's that's why I brought that angle up because right. some may hear it that way. Mm. Uh, I think, I think, I think prosperity 
uh, and, and, and you know, we'll, we'll see. Prosperity has to do with increase. Increase. Mm. Increase. Mm. Right? Uh, whereas success may be to do with, um, yeah, you may have, uh, if I say, <clears throat> if I say, if you run two miles tomorrow, mm. you will have hit the mark. You may run your two miles and you say, oh, I was successful, mm. right? But somebody out there runs 10 miles. I I I have to to cut you. Yeah, I'm looking at uh, you know the definition of prosperous okay. instead of being prosperity instead of being prosperous a long term a long period of peace and prosperity, but the synonyms are wealth and success and profitability and affluence. And That's riches. why I told you that prosperity is increase. All of those words mm. have to do with quantitative increase. Right. That's why I said mm. success mm -hmm. is, could be categorized could be under and prosperity. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But <clears throat> but is but is not to be equated as the no, same. Possibly. Uh, definitely. Yeah. So, you know, if you set up this week to to wake up and pray, and you wake up and pray the whole week, you are successful. True. But you're not prosperous. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. You're only prosperous when what you are doing, that praying, bears fruit. That's true. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, I know somebody out there may say English, English, English. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's not English. It's not English. And that's why we want to come through from a scriptural angle. Mm -hmm. Just beloved, I wish that all will be well with you. That, that you are as healthy in body. And you are strong in spirit. So, strong in what? There are people who are weak in spirit. You know that? The people who are feeble in spirit. Mm. So they are not prospering in their spirit. spirit. Mm. When we started, they might be prospering based on our own measurement of prosperity. If somebody is not born again, but they are rich, mm. they are prosperous. In their, probably, in fact, they are prosperous materially. Mm. But they, they, they may not be prosperous uh, in the spirit. Actually, they, they're not prosperous in the spirit. They're not prosperous in the soul. And their body may seem to prosper for a while, but probably not for too long because the life of the body comes from the spirit. Praise the Lord. And there's believers who are mm -hmm. prosperous, mm -hmm. but may be deficient on the inside. Uh, so, so, so you see that the, then you'd have changed the parameters. Because that means that you, what you're saying is prosperity is things. Yeah. Which is what we have, and like you said, mm. in the beginning, that's what you thought it was. Yes, yes. And I believe it's maybe potentially one or two. No, most of us. Yes, and yes, and most of us, yeah. Mm. And, and I'd like to say one or two because maybe, you know, there's people you know, who are watching, you know, Breakthrough Miracle Life has, you know, yes. strong beliefs. So, yeah, there's a pastor, no, is saying, for example, someone could be a very successful CEO mm. of a top company. Mm. Yet they may be suffering from depression, have a broken mind. Have a broken mind. Right. You see. So notice what why would we say they're a successful CEO? Based on you know what their their performance. That's it. Based on how their leadership has impacted yeah. the company. The company, right. You see. Yeah. So uh, uh, success uh, but 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 on the other hand we, we may say uh, that oh an evangelist that evangelist is successful. Right. What, what 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 would we be referring to? Success might be first of all numerical, based on how the projections what we see. No, if we are talking about an evangelist, an evangelist, mm -hmm. yeah, it's still numerical. They are uh, from from their kind of ministry. Right. So so um, hmm, but. It, then if you want to talk about prosperity prosperity then no. okay. in, in their case in their case first of all prosperity not from a personal standpoint you see it has to be personal that's what I'm trying to come to. but now when it comes personal yes obviously like we're saying like you know we're sharing yesterday again I, 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 I feel like 
you know, if you have a chance to come you know, to birth to you, probably have a bit more, you know, mm. because you said yesterday that you asked a question and we said you ignore them by their fruit. Mm -hmm. By the fruit they bear. By the so fruit, fruit spirit. By, by the fruit, in, by, by the fruit specifically meant their manner of conversation, their lifestyle. Right. It, it, not, not necessarily their success. Yes. Not yes. their prosperity. Which, which pertains to every believer, including everyone, because mm -hmm. just as me who is not an evangelist, I, I have to conduct myself. We all have to conduct as, ourselves as Christ like as, as, Christ, exactly. as possible. So I think measuring someone's prosperity is by the fruit they bear on a personal level, which... Definitely. Yes, yes. And that's what I was saying, that mm -hmm. success can have the... Uh, can have, uh, you know, you can be successful as a CEO. Right. You can be successful as a father. Notice how other people are involved. Leadership, mm -hmm. leadership. Mm -hmm. But I think when we talk about things like prosperity now, we are, we are intruding on the person. Right, right. On, on, on their personal... Uh, on their personal measuring scale. There are certain parameters now we are looking out for. For instance, I don't know, how can we know that the soul is prospering? <laughs> we dodged that question, but uh, <coughs> I mean, it seems that uh, we may... Uh, to know that, that's what I'm saying, to know that the soul is prospering, obviously it's the conduct. I mean, the, what, what stems from the inside, because you can't physically see it. That's mm -hmm. number one. Mm -hmm. Just like we're not like I was sharing earlier and I say, I, I do not know the spirit that lives on the inside. I can't see it, mm. but it's in there. Mm. So the only way you can measure prosperity on a personal basis is if on, on, the base, on the basis of your conduct. And mm. If you carry love and peace and you have all these attributes about you. Mm. So you can, have a, you can be an evangelist and you show us this and you're performing on the oh, oh, you could okay, you could be successful as an evangelist but not prospering in your soul. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Which is possible. I mean, it, it is, is it yeah. is extremely possible. Yeah. Yeah. Very, so, very possible. So yeah, I think I don't know what you would call that. How how would, would determine I don't know how to determine someone's to now for example, because now for you, if it's legal for me mm. to measure your soul's prosperity, I don't know. <laughs> I think I think you know somebody out there that that should that should be a good project. Yeah, we, we can come up with some machine maybe. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we we have uh, oh we have some uh, some messages some up. messages mm -hmm. from John Moses mm -hmm. Ephesians two eight. Could the word salvation in that scripture also refer to prosperity? Prosperity. Mm -hmm. uh, in Ephesians two eight, I believe it uh, it talks about how uh, we are saved by grace not of any works lest we should boast boast mm -hmm. oh we know we said uh, we said by grace through faith we are saved by grace through faith not of any works lest we should boast, boast. Um, that, that i think that context may not bring out the prosperity idea uh, because uh, you know the scripture is say, saying the context of that scripture is, is basically look you can't take credit for salvation. Mm. Yeah, that's that's the main context of that scripture. Mm. Uh, but if, but Moses, do do look out. Um, if you go to Strong's Concordance, look out for some of those words that have salvation, especially um, uh, maybe Romans 1, 16, 16, and then look at the the, the Greek for that word, sozo, mm. uh, you will see some of those uh, interesting uh, uh, nuances, so mm. to speak. Mm. Uh, we have something from Pastor Marcus. Uh, he says, doesn't it strike you as interesting that uh, the Bible describes Joseph the slave as prosperous and not his master, Potiphar? Mm. That is in Genesis 39.2. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man, and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. You see, that's why I told you, prosperity is, is, is personal. Mm -hmm. it's, it's personal. You, you may be successful outwardly, yeah. you, you may be successful as a musician, but yeah. you may not be prospering right. uh, in your soul. Mm -hmm. You may not be prospering in, in health. Mm -hmm. uh, you may not be prospering in, you know, Inwardly, and, uh, you you know your your spirit may not be strong, but outwardly they may say you are prosperous. successful and prosperous as well. 
based on the definition that is given to us here. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> you, don't want, you don't want us to go into the, the ten point program uh, because yeah. I think that's that's where the, the word is prominently mm. used: prosperity. Mm. Yeah, but um, so we begin to see from Fat John chapter one and verse two mm. that uh, that God's interest. Mm. And that's why I'm picking out one of these. God's interest is that it says, Dear friend, I hope all is well with you and that you are as healthy, you are as healthy in body as you are strong in spirit. You are as healthy in body as you are strong in spirit. So in that particular context, it's, it's basically implying that it's possible for you to be healthy in spirit, but externally, that's it. And the other way around. And the other way around. And the other way around. Right. So he's saying, let these attributes f flow together. Mm. But from the wisdom that the Bible provides to us, mm. we begin to see that, uh, that 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 God came to save the human spirit. First. Salvation is for the human spirit, spirit yeah. first. Mm. You know. So right now our spirits are saved ready for uh, heaven, if you may say. Mm. We have eternal life. life. Our souls are in progressive salvation. That means, that, you know, the more we uh, expose ourselves to the Word, the more our minds are renewed by the Word. So our souls begin to experience salvation. But, but then the salvation of, of the bodies is definitely a future hope, right? Mm. And, uh, and 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 but but right now <clears throat> the things Christ has secured for our bodies says the same Spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead dwells in you, mm. and by that Spirit God gives vitality to your mortal body. Mm. Uh, you see, so <clears throat> it's interesting that. Um, when you read three, 3 John 1, 3 John 1, 2, I think it, ex uh, I beg to hear from the listeners and the viewers, it seems to, I don't see material in there. I do not see material in there. Now notice, I'm not saying that, I'm not ruling out material as being a factor of prosperity, but I'm just saying in that scripture, uh, there's probably no material. There's no material. So yeah. that's what I'm saying. So that, that in itself shifts the narrative. Mm -hmm. it, it changes everything mm -hmm. because I, I wanted to get into this. In, in that scripture, particularly. In that scripture, particularly. Yeah. Okay, no, so what does that mean when you say that scripture, particularly? Because, because someone might. So it's possible for someone to get something in another scripture that bucks. Say something different, contrary yeah. to what you so say. So that's why when we find other scriptures, mm -hmm. we will see the language in use and we will see. The voice of the spirit that is being communicated, and then we will know the uh, the, the right context. So, for somebody to put material in that this scripture uh, would be unfair to the scripture. You see, you see, because we don't want to run with this scripture and say uh, it's talking about prosperity from a material point of view. Mm -hmm. No, it's emphasizing literally the soul, the body, and the spirit. And it's talking about strength, health for the body, a strong spirit, and a prosperous soul. What is a prosperous soul? I'm looking at a happy being. I'm looking at a being who is uh, uh, not susceptible to, to negative emotions. You, you see what I mean? Uh, the, the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost, you know. So, uh, Pastor Noah is saying something here in Deuteronomy 29.9. Keep therefore the words of this covenant and do them that you may prosper in all that you do. Mm -hmm. That you may prosper in all that you do. If he says prosper in all, that means you can prosper in some things and not others. Others. That's one. Mm -hmm. So John is basically saying he wants them to be prosperous all, all, around. all around. 360. Yes. Mm. So, but if, it, if, if this is talking about prospering in all that we do, that that, I don't know, uh, what do you think it does? I, I particularly, again, like you're saying, because 
pertaining to that, it might say the soul primarily and then the, the physical body, which again, someone might argue that for you to maintain your body, mm. it requires, you know, no, no, in this, in this context, no, in saying, that context, saying, saying all around, you. in all that you do, yes. so, in all that you do, yeah. saying whatever you put your hands, hands to, to will prosper. Will, 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 uh, you, you prosper in yeah. all that you do. You prosper in all that you. That means if 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 you're a DJ, you become a, you're a good one. Yes. If if you're if you're a mother, you're a good one. Whatever you whatever you find your hands to do, do it well and do it. Well. Is it was there a scripture again that says that? Whatever you find your hands to do. Well, I, I, I remember that was a message to the prophet, not to, to Saul from Prophet Samuel. It says, what your hands find to do, do. Mm. But uh, uh, he didn't necessarily uh, put uh, the, the whole, it will prosper. But when you look at other scriptures, they can tell you will prosper uh, with the works of your hands mm. shall, mm. Right, 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 shall, yeah. shall what? Shall be? Yeah. Mm. Right? By the works of your hands. You shall what? Shall prosper. Are you sure? Oh, you sh oh, the works of your hands shall be blessed. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so, 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 I, I, I think you know. One of the reasons we're having this discussion is uh, we, we we want to understand what prosperity right, right. Yes. Pro pros prosperity is yeah. and from the Bible end of things. You know, sometimes mostly uh, we're sweet and nice and um, uh, we try to go around just so we can, you know, uh, get everybody on yes. on board. But um, uh, I think that uh, <laughs> when we go, when we look at the scriptures now, we can look at the scriptures and we'll see scriptures that are not talking about prosperity. The way we but, know it. Yes, but that are actually referring to pros prosperity. To right. prosperity. Hallelujah. Amen. I think the challenge with the word is the way it's it's more it's it's it's, it's the way it's used in the world, the, the prominence it has gained mm -hmm. uh, in its usage in our daily mm -hmm. lives. That's so so you know like we were talking earlier, we, we may think of things like you know they say, Oh that's a prosperity gospel. Mm -hmm. Why what's the basis for, for, for calling them a prosperity gospel preacher? It's it's, it's amazing you mentioned that because I was going to get to that as the next point. Mm -hmm. Because I looked it up briefly on, on uh, uh, Wikipedia and how it began in the nineteenth century and mm -hmm. you know, from the Protestant sort of church and, you know, uh, people have carried it on to this day. Mm -hmm. And so uh, when you look at it it's it's really people feeling the, that God owes them mm -hmm. prosperity. Like he mm -hmm. He owes them a lifestyle of abundance. And mm. That's mm. what they believe, and that's how it began, really. Mm. And so it is something that has been carried on to this day. So I feel like prosperity gospel is a thing of, right, this is what God owes you. He mm. owes you a fancy lifestyle. Mm. He owes you this, that, and the third. So that is what, based on what I've read, yeah, pretty much, yeah, yeah. I just glanced through. You know, mm. Mm. Yes, I don't know what you have to say about that. No, no, I think mostly the basis is, um, uh, especially if you bring it closer to our day now, mm. it's more associated with the word of faith as, or, you know, that, you know, a certain kind of people who are more into, you know, say it, claim it, mm -hmm. take it, right. um, and then, uh, of course, you know, they, uh, they uh, so, so what, why they are called that is because they are not shy about wealth, mm -hmm. and they are not shy about, uh, uh, encouraging people to be wealthy mm. so uh, most of what they say uh, you know is in line with the formulations that you know uh, that encourage people to uh, go wealthy right like you, you've got to be wealthy you, you're a Christian you gotta be wealthy you, you know and, and of course you know uh, the, the people who know them better can give us some of those uh, other characteristics. Yeah. But, um, you know, so w w mostly it's because of their lifestyles. Mm. And then uh, it's consistent with what they say, and uh, it's consistent with the, uh, their, their, their dominant theme. Their dominant theme is, hey, uh, you Christian out there, you've you got to be rich. You, you know, you, you know, like, get the money. Everything you're up to, basically, they, they, they make us heavily invest 
our minds and focus on the outward being and, and, and accumulation of, uh, of wealth. Yes. I, I don't know if that's probably uh, well put, but you know. Mm. So, if, if why, why, why did they call them that again? Because of, I don't know, did you say their fruit or their manner of conduct mm. or their, uh, you know. Mm. Uh, Marcus is saying something here, Pastor Marcus, the use of the word rise, for example, how do we define the power uh, of prosperity? Okay, so, mm -hmm. sorry, I missed something there, rise for, how do we define the power, okay, I presume power of prosperity for the fool. Uh, Proverbs 1, 32, the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. You see, can you imagine there's such a thing as prosperity for a fool? Prosperity. See, it's possible that it's an external world. So, so, so prosperity, that's why I told you prosperity is personal. It's personal evaluation. Mm. It's personal. You, you prosper in the soul. You prosper in your health. You prosper in the body. That's what, if, if we take first John 3, 3 John 1, 2, you know, that's the idea. Because you think about a John, Let's look at the author of this letter. He, he, he was uh, boiled uh, in, in oil. For, for what? For his profession of Christ. He was boiled in oil. And I think, I, I don't know if that's how the story goes, that uh, you know, they boiled him until the oil was done and he was still there. They said, well, this man, uh, I, I, we don't think there's anything that can be done for him around here. So that, that's how they exiled him to the the island where he, where the Lord met him and, and gave him a, the book of Revelation. You see what I mean? So I'm I'm trying to see the, the author and the message, the author and the message, and notice his emphasis from the first from the first letter. You know, he, he's saying, you know, we, 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 we we've seen him, we touched him. We saw him, the one who is life itself. Life was manifested to us. The one who is the author of life. We, 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 we have come to know him. And he's saying, have fellowship with us because we have fellowship with him. Mm. I, I, what I get here is that there's two different, because now the Old Testament, because now here again, mm -hmm. when you read, read through it, you read through it, it talks about how poverty is a curse. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is all, this is, they glean this a lot from the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Because when you talk about the New Testament, you talk about the guy who wrote that, that and what he went through, and mm -hmm. in our estimation, and God's and, estimation. And, 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 that, and, and guess what? He, uh, I, I don't know, he wasn't poor. <laughs> he may have been, he may have appeared poor to somebody who is, has a certain... Uh, uh, description of, of, of riches but but he himself was not poor you know the Bible talks about how Jesus he became he, he became poor for our sake and, 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 and what did he do you know that very very commonly uh, quoted scripture he became poor for our sake so that we can be what so that we can be rich right now or if you look at that, that scripture ask yourself what was he rich in before he became poor? And what did this word, what did poor mean? When we say Jesus, he became poor. That means he subjected himself to the lowliness of humanity. I, I, I feel like, you know, this is, I'm, I'm laughing because, you know, uh, Apostle on Sunday was preaching and he said to us that we do not need to read the, read the Bible in English. Mm. <laughs> so when you hear, and for example, you talk about the example, he mm. became Poor. Poor. For our sake, so, that, our we, sake that, so that we can become now, rich. Does it mean that we, we misinterpret and we try to glean and take what we want from these portions without fully understanding them? Is it possible that's the case? Definitely. Yeah. Where we are, what we are going through, uh, our backgrounds and experiences mostly impact how we tend to hear mm. the word. Uh, on, on a good broke day, when you hear 3 John 1, 2, woo, you will see money. 
Right. You, you, you will see money. Uh, but you know, uh, the Bible may not be talking about money. Right. And here is the thing, I like, I like to say this. Uh, over the years in my little experience, I've noticed something that uh, wherever you have a problem of lack, especially consistent lack, it's not a money problem. Because you can't fix it with money. You know how people always try to come through for those who are in luck? Mm. They give them money, give them money, give them money, but the problem never does well. It never goes away. It persists. That means the problem is not what? The money. It's not money. And that's what I was about to tell you earlier. So I said, look, you, for us to look at prosperity, we have to look at the state of man, a, a fallen state and, and, and post uh, salvation right. yeah. state. Yes, yes. Uh, because, uh, dear listeners, and, and you know, for me this blesses me and I, I hope it blesses you. Mm -hmm. That's why I asked you, what is salvation? What's the end game of salvation? Yeah, yeah. God came to restore human potential. Inwardly. Because when the air spirit is, okay, you know, you, you've, you've seen some of the guys out there, you know, they're roaming the streets and they're insane, they're out of their minds, right? Does that guy need money? No. What is his problem? He's in need of health. He needs deliverance. Yeah, deliverance problem. Once he gets delivered, he gets back to his mind, he can do something with his life. You have somebody out there who is uh, angry and frustrated and is holding them down. Maybe for some reason they cannot get a promotion at the workplace because they have a temperament issue. Maybe business is no longer coming to them because they have a temperament issue. Or maybe they, they do not relate well with clients. You see, you see what I mean? So, <clears throat> how, what, what, what would your prescription of prosperity be for such a person? They need to be strong in their spirit. Uh, you see, so, uh, uh, <laughs> I praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, you see, beloved listeners, you, you can go along in this life. And you know, if you probably haven't uh, seen or tested any of this, uh, I pray that you'll have some of it. Let me tell you, you can come to a place where when, when you think of a billion shillings, you think about people. You think about what you can do for people, not for yourself. You, you can come to a place where your desire is for the presence of God. You know, sometimes we sing the song, He touched me. Oh, He touched me. Right? If you find somebody on their deathbed. Okay, so let's see. What would you tell them about this prosperity? <laughs> oh. I'll, I'll pass a question to you guys. What would you say to a person on a deathbed? I mean, how would they define prosperity in that moment? <laughs> yeah. First of all, first of all, they are not prospering in in their body. Right. So they need prosperity for the body. That's what I'm trying to say. So we can identify prosperity from that angle. Mm -hmm. What do I need? Mm -hmm. What do I need? Is my body weak? I need prosperity for my body. What's the prescription for prosperity in the body? At the Word mm -hmm. and the presence of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you, you may be, you know, I like to give the examples and you know, I've told you a million times, you, 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 drive, you drive the latest Range Rover and in your dream, a mosquito <laughs> is chasing you around. <laughs> or, or maybe a grasshopper. A grasshopper is chasing you around. And those are chips. Uh, no, 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 oh, 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 it's a butterfly. Oh, by the way, the chips example is not exaggerated. Uh, you know, um, okay. a precious little girl told us how that's, that she dreamt, she said, I dreamt, I was so scared. Chips were chasing me. Yes, chips. Fries. Chips. Fries. <laughs> chips. Fries. Fries were chasing wow. her in the dream. So what does she need? Delivered. She needs to prosper in her soul and right. spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, so you know, most times as we go along, as I've mentioned, you know, 
sometimes we try to be all inclusive, but um, uh, experientially, uh, for those who have experience, uh, uh, you will know that it's, it's, it's got nothing to do with some of the parameters we have set for our, ourselves. Okay, so what's so if what's the prosperity of this ministry? I think prosperity of this ministry primarily hinges on getting as long as the least the loss of the last are being recovered to the kingdom. It. That by definition is prosperity. So has that got to do has that got anything to do with things? No. You see. Mm. So so even though the when you prosper inwardly, right, your spirit is strong. You prosper in your in your in your in your soul, and your body is healthy. You become what productive. Mm -hmm. So now you can become rich. Yeah. So you can be rich because you are prosperous. And I, <laughs> I, be, I believe that we're going to come and explain this to the <laughs> apostles because mm. explain to us properly because I feel like that's what we usually get lost. Mm. If you see. Most people's potential is curtailed by inner tumult, you know, uh, inner tumult. You know, uh, many a time I go out there, you see very pretty, pretty ladies, pretty young girls, and you know, and you know, they 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 are not prosperous inwardly, and you can see that from their conduct. Right. You know, you can see how they, you know, move around and dress up and and sound. You know, so. So they're not prospering. And so what they may not understand is that um, maybe one day they will be mothers, you know. Right. Uh, one day they will be grandmothers. Mm. And uh, they've lost sight of uh, uh, the big picture. Mm. Uh, so mm. it, it's sad because, you know, some of them lose opportunities because of that kind of uh, uh, lifestyle. Mm. But you see, when God comes to us through Christ, he says, Jesus says, I'm come that you may have life. <laughs> and this life to its full. He, he said, no, the, the, the more accurate version suggests to its, just full. to its fullest. Mm -hmm. Life and life to its fullest. Mm -hmm. So, what is the fullness of this life? Mm -hmm. Imagine, uh, imagine, uh, I'm, I'm just trying to think of... Uh, uh, a little scenario. Uh, imagine, imagine if you had uh, a Range Rover and you're successful, and uh, then you go to the village, and then one of your cousins is epileptic, and uh, uh, yeah, you money. Yep. Your money means nothing. Right. So how can you help them to prosper? Did you give them a job? Of course not. Yes. So, uh, the Bible says this sign shall follow them that one and believe. So if you're prospering inwardly, you, you, you can, like Peter, now you see why Peter said, silver and gold, and gold have I none, but such as I want, have, give I thee in the name of Jesus. Stand up and walk. Beloved, I, I, I pray that that can be our theme of prosperity. Yeah. Silver and gold have I, now, now notice the guy had been at that place begging all the while. He thought he, won, he, thought he needed money, right? But so these guys who had received the Holy Ghost and they had received power to be witnesses. Now we are witnessing Christ. <clears throat> Why am I going in that direction? Prosperity could not be limited to things because things cannot solve inner problems. They can't be, they certain, money has a limit. You know, I know, I know in the old, the man wrote and says, money answereth all things. But you know, he, he, uh, he didn't know Jesus. He had no idea who Jesus was. Jesus, the life, has since arrived. You see what I mean? So, God 
wills that we should have life fast in our spirits. Why is that life important? Because your full human potential is restored. What we lost in the garden is now restored through salvation. You see what I mean? So, now you can be strong in spirit. How? Your roots can grow deep into His love. And the Bible says, from His unlimited and glorious resources, He can strengthen our inner man by His spirit. So, you know what I begin to see? A factor here that may discomfort many people. You know, you know what prosperity is? The Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord, but we have some <laughs> but we have some comments here. We better get into the comments. But before I just just say again what the spirit is before we get into so so you can it, it, no. the other week we saw the blessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Holy Ghost. Now we are looking at prosperity. The Holy Ghost. <laughs> Why? Well, because you can't escape it. No, 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 no. Where? Where will you go? The Bible says, you know, uh, uh, David says, he says. Where can I go? Where can I run from you? Even in the depth of the earth, there you see me. It says, search my heart, O oh God. Okay, but, so, uh, we have a comment from Elena Kunda. She says in Philippians 4, 11 and 12, the NIV, I'm not saying this because I'm in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. Mm -hmm. I know what is to be in need, and I know what is to have Plenty. Right. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation. Whether well fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in what? want. Do you know the scripture that comes after this? I can do okay. all things through Christ which strengthens me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So now notice, so I don't know. Was Paul prosperous? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hesitant. Yes, he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're reluctant. <laughs> <laughs> You're reluctant. <laughs> but I'm a listener. Right. Please, please look at him as he answered. Was Paul prosperous? <laughs> yes, he was. <laughs> he was. <laughs> but but, but, but <laughs> you're not the the Bible. How is it? How is it? How is that, that, that makes him successful? <laughs> No, based on experience, no, it's, not, it's not a novel, it's not a, it's the word of God inside, yeah. so it's personal, it's, it comes from a personal standpoint, yeah. so that's why it's the Holy Bible, it's not a I, think, I think the scripture describes his prosperity, yeah. he had come to a place where, whether he had so little or nothing, or so much, it says he was called tent. Now, of course, I know that, that may not be. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I don't think it's very appealing right now. Yes, no, I, I, I feel like it's not appealing in any way because first of all, when you, anyway, the first question you asked me was, "What is salvation?" Mm -hmm. By that, you're telling me that I need. Okay, someone might translate it as because most of what we call prosperity on materially is we get it from the Old Testament. Yes, and. We cannot mm. negate that. I mean, that's how partially the way that God communicates by mm. handing you, you know, things and blessing you materially. Mm. And so that can also be prosperity in a sense. And many of us in the in the in the body mm. have been told, or we've been there's an attraction. Mm. First of all, you know, the Old Testament people are dealing the way they dealt with things. Today, mm. from inception, I'm I'm told that. The way you measure prosperity, mm. I mean, from school and all these things at home, and like you said, the way there's a way we're brought up which shapes who we are, mm. and we cannot escape that. Mm. Apostle, we cannot escape that. That I've been raised, I've been, uh, the, I went to school, and this, uh, we measure success based on what you have. We told your blood, sweat, and tears. Go, on, get, go get it, go do this, go do that. Mm. And all of a sudden, we're being told that you know, money is not. You do not measure prosperity by how much you have in your bank account. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it is very... Un, uh, it's very uncomfortable. Yeah, it's... I think the discomfort comes with how we hear. You see, sometimes, so if I say no, it's not money you need, it's the word you need. Right. Somebody may hear 
as if I've disqualified mm -hmm. money, but mm -hmm. that's not yes. what I have. Yes. Jesus says, man shall not live by bread. He okay. didn't say man doesn't need bread, bread at all. Mm -hmm. It says man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. So, so uh, in the same manner, that's how we miss here. You know, you know, our minds are very polarized most times. Uh, they, 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 they think in, they think in opposites. It's either this or that. We, we don't have a uh, mutually exclusive, inclusive kind of mentality. You know, so so when I tell somebody, for instance, that hey, uh, right now you, you you need the presence of God, you know what they hear? Oh, you know, it's my old line. In the old days, I would tell people, you know, you need rest, rest in Christ. And you know what they would think? They would hear as if I'm telling them, quit your job, quit everything you're doing, go to the house and do nothing. But is that what I meant? No. Yeah. So so in in, in the same spirit. We tend to hear when when we say that you, you need to prosper in the spirit, so that your outward prosperity may be a bit more automatic. Uh, some may hear as if we are negating outward yeah. prosperity. Okay, it might have been negating, but mm. yeah, that is negating because mm. it's not considered mm. as in priority here mm. shifts. The priority shift is now, it's like, as in, you having a, a Range Rover in the parking lot is just... I mean, okay, yeah, 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 okay. yeah, cool. Like, yeah, I mean, like, you imagine <laughs> if you had a Range Rover in the parking lot and you have cancer. Yeah. Uh, you know, may you get in that Range Rover and it heals you. Right. Can you? No. no, at that moment, what do you need? Yeah. You need Jesus. Yeah. You see, so, so if somebody comes and says you need Jesus, they haven't told you, go and throw away your Range Rover. Mm -hmm. It's, it's just that in that moment, that's what counts, mm -hmm. so to speak. So, in, in like manner, I think prosperity, and I, th I like it from 3 John 1 2. I think God is giving us an idea of what we can prioritize. What we can prioritize. Yeah. You see, uh, in, in my little life, you know, would I rather wake up? to a billion dollars and an empty life? Or would I rather wake up in the presence of God without a billion dollars? I'd absolutely choose to wake up in there. Presence. Now, if when I say that, somebody may say, oh, so you don't like money. No, that's not what I say. Mm. You have to be eating posho and beans every day to hear the fair. Praise the Lord. <laughs> That's not what I said. I just said there's something that matters to me more than money. But that doesn't, doesn't mean that I don't want money. I need God. I want money. So there's needs and there's wants. Definitely. And like, you know, uh, one of the portions you <coughs> shared with us on Sunday is uh, uh, Second Peter 1-3. Mm. You know, his divine power has given us all things that we need pertaining. But how we like to translate it, how we want, like you're saying, mm. to you know, suggest that the it's, things that we want. Yes. So if I want, he'll give all the things that I want, basically. <laughs> but yet the scripture doesn't talk about wants, it's mm. talking about needs. needs. There's a man who said, uh, he was preaching and said that, you know, he, he, he asked people in the congregation, are you parents? Are there any parents in the, in the congregation? And people put up their hands and say to them, you know, would you give your kid something that you know would be detrimental to them? Mm. And they said no. And they said, what makes you think that, that God, God would do something like that to harm you something that would be that you meant yeah, so, true. you know, it. I, I feel like it, like you said, priorities are changing, and uh, as a result, what I gather is that many people are being crippled by the fact that they pursue the wrong things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, <clears throat> and mostly, I believe that's why we. Which, 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 for example, you say that for you, you would go, if you had that option of being with Christ, you would opt for that. And you talk about the fruit that you have acquired from being in that space mm. where you know you're complete in Him mm. in all aspects, not just, you know, mm. like most of us believe that, you know, 
to be complete is having the abundance and the material and people are applauding you and yeah? mm. but when you get in your room you're as miserable as a as yeah you want that's why you have most people chasing you at night. in the dream <laughs> not physically but in the dream yeah 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 <laughs> so i feel like people are being of where most of us are being affected by because that means our lives are being affected if we can only equate prosperity to material mm. wealth mm. that means there's a whole there's vast there's a lot of things that we have left that we're not even aware of mm. that we're not even taking advantage of things that matter when you already mentioned james 1 14 mm -hmm. uh, how the soul how you can actually be born again you know personal or posted something on facebook pertaining to what you said yesterday mm -hmm. How you can you know be born again, but you, your soul is still in you. Yep, unsaved, uncuffed. Mm -hmm. I don't need to explain that because I think that's where most mm -hmm. of us be when we're not understanding these truths. Yeah. Our souls are handcuffed. Yeah. Yeah. Um. You, uh, first, before we go there, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, <clears throat> this is the word I wanted you to see. Soteria. Soteria. Deliverance. Mm -hmm. Salvation. Now look at the usage welfare, prosperity, deliverance, preservation, mm. salvation, safety, soteria, mm. prosperity, welfare, prosperity, deliverance, De prosperity, deliverance, preservation. It's talking about <clears throat> a sustainable life sustained notice our new life and that's why you know these subjects become a little difficult and become uh, uh, contentious because we don't understand that the new life we have is not our life mm -hmm. the new life we have is life from God it's Christ living in us right so if so we you start you no longer live no no you're dead because you are the old man the sinner you died. If what? any man be in Christ. Christ, we died with him on the cross. We no longer live. So it's this new life that prospers. Mm. Praise the Lord. Amen. What does it mean for this new life that to, to prosper? First of all, remember the Bible tells us in First Peter 1 23 that this new life comes from the living word. It comes from the living word, word which abides forever. So, now notice, we are born, James 1.18, of, of his own will. He has begotten us by his word of truth. We are born of the word. We are born of the spirit. Our life comes from the word. You see? So, so for that life to prosper, the factor of the word has to be prominent. So who is prospering? One who is eating the word of life. One who is receiving the words of life. One who is being built up by the words of his life. The scripture says, that, Beloved, I commend you to, to God and to the words of his grace, which are able to work. Build you up and do what? And give you an inheritance. That's prosperity. The word is able to build you up. Now notice another scripture. He that prays in an unknown tongue, he builds up himself. Your spirit is strengthened. So can you, can you see the factors of prosperity? When you pray in tongues, your spirit is strengthened. That is the Holy Ghost. When you take in the word, your spirit is built up. Mm -hmm. mm. That is prosperity in the spirit. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, uh, of course, you know, uh, uh, beloved listeners, hey, uh, let us know uh, some of the things we're saying may be contrary to what you believe but <coughs> I think just by the silence yeah uh, the silence you know the, the people are in agreement with what is being spoken of I don't know so you know people don't have to disagree 
they can disagree privately, but I'm joking. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> this platform allows you to disagree with yeah, death, you know, death, and death, I believe death. that uh, you know it's it's more than it's more it's revealing what's what is happening here. That is what it is. So I feel like you know we we need to prioritize as number one, like you said, and know what who is taking what what is taking preeminence in our lives because it's easy for us to let these things, the cares of the world, like you say, like you yes, put the scripture. They choke, they choke, they choke the word. The yeah. cares of this world and the deceitfulness yes. of riches. Yes. So so and and, and 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 from that scripture we can see that clearly. Clearly, that um, when we're talking about prosperity, we, we, we're, not, we, we're not talking about. Uh, I, I need to be careful as I say this. We're not talking about riches. Mm -hmm. Riches will be a product of a prosperous being. Right, right, right. But they are not the core, word. they are not yes. the primary, they are not the native. Yes of prosperity. Mm. When your spirit prospers, your soul prospers, and your body prospers, then you, you have the perfect ingredients to become rich or prosper outwardly. <sighs> I feel like that is very liberating. <coughs> and so I think what we need to gather here is that he's, we're basically, he's basically communicating that prosperity on the way, we, the way we've been knowing it mm. prior to this. Mm. <laughs> For some of us, really, not, I know some of, some of you guys out there really know these things, that it is not bad for you to have all these fancy things. Definitely. It not is, at all. As in, you would not even be living if, you know, I mean, you would live, but it would be really a, an inferior I mean, way how, of living. How would we able to how would we be able to reach the people with our kind of things? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. You know, if, if if we if we were to shun, you know, uh, material, mm. then we, we 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 don't have all this equipment. Yeah, you yeah. know, there's there's a lot of uh, investment right now. Yeah. somebody would be shocked to know how much investment is it's in your kind. You know, yes. uh, so so no, we we, we don't discourage, uh, you know, being rich. Mm. In fact, you know, most times I feel that uh, what we call prosperity gospel preachers, I, th I think sometimes uh, we may be, we, we, we were too unfair to them because somebody has to uh, awaken the church to uh, that angle of life. You know, we, we, could, we, we can get too spiritual or get hung up on but healing and the Holy Ghost and the anointing and all, yeah, but then how will you deliver it? How will it, it takes money to build churches, it takes resources to have PA systems. You know, who wants to, who wants to pastor a Holy Ghost filled church which is broke? Do you? No. Uh, not me either, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think so, it's, it's important they understand that it's not bad. It's actually, a, it's, it's, it's a it, part of, it's part of life. It should be part of life. We 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 should. In fact, you know, the Bible says, "Whatsoever things you desire, mm. when you pray, believe that you read." So the Bible is not restraining your de exactly. desires, uh, but it helps you to prioritize. You can say what is primary and what is secondary. That is it. Yeah. So if you know that your inward uh, prosperity then helps you to prosper outwardly, mm -hmm. sustainably. Mm -hmm. right. and, that's and, and that's that's why the, the, the word, you know, with, it's the word freedom yeah. and then liberty. You know, liberty is, liberty is, you are free. You're free. Uh, you know, let's use an example here. I, I don't know. Are we a multi-party uh, democracy? Yes. So our political parties are free to participate, right? Right? Mm. But are they empowered? Are they empowered? Probably not. Why? That's liberty. Liberty is when you're free. You can be free, but when you don't have power to stay free. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I mean, it's like most of us Christians, you know, we are free, but somehow. We hand ourselves over to the devil, you know, uh, you know, you know, we, you know, we, we watch porn, and, and you know, we do all kinds of stuff, you know. So, so that means we are not empowered to stay. Freedom 
is when you are free and you are empowered to stay free. And the only way to acquire that is by the word. Definitely. That, that wills. The, the, the word and the spirit. Because the spirit is the executive of the Godhead. He makes this word a reality. So, so you be, he says you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost comes upon you. You shall receive power. Uh, Luke says you, you are clothed or endued with power from on, right. on high. Uh, why, why, were, why were the apostles bold in, in, in the face of, of persecution? They said, oh, you want to kill us? Fine. You think about Stephen. I, I, uh, I find it very fascinating that these people get to this point where it's do or die and they feel them. That peace. Like it's cool. No, it's it's like it, it was the cool it thing. Is really disturbing. But you know, you know, in our day, we fear to get yes, there. Yes, that's what I'm saying. You know, <laughs> we fear to get there yeah. where, we're, where we're willing to die yeah. for, for, for the Lord. Mm. You know, we fear, we, we, so... so um, clearly, uh, there's, there's a difference between what we know and what they right. need, right. Uh, so to speak. So, but yeah, we have, we have, uh, we have. Uh, uh, Nankunda asked. We uh, she made a comment and she asked. She says, "So what secret had Paul learned? Mm -hmm. uh, the secret Paul learned was uh, Nankunda. If you read the uh, the, the next verses, uh, Philippians four thirteen. And uh, you will see his secret. He says, I can do all things. He's saying, he was saying basically, I've come to learn that with Christ, it's, it's all good. Mm. It's all good. Uh, then uh, we have um, something from Pastor Marcus. Possessions are not the fullness of life. A man with good possessions was keenly aware that Jesus had something that was eluding him. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was, uh, I think, the young the rich ruler. ruler. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you see, so, 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 and that's, and that's the thing. Uh, thank you, Marcus, because that really uh, defines what we may be about right now. You have this guy, he had everything, but he knew he was missing something. something. And, and Jesus told him, you know, sell your stuff and, uh, and, 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 and come and what? And follow me. And the Bible says he walked away sad. Yeah very very sad so beloved listeners I, I, I pray that uh, you may catch God's priority list you know there's a scripture I don't know what you, I don't know what you you understand by the word um, freedom 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 free, freedom to, to, to be empowered Mm. to stay free mm. to be empowered to stay free what does it take to have a healthy body it, 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 now now please not I, I don't think that that's what the <laughs> working out that's not what the scripture <laughs> is talking about you see the Bible says for this reason many are sick many are weak and many have Died. For this what? Why? Because they have ignored the importance of the yeah. body and the cup. For this reason. So, you know, what does it take to stay healthy? Yeah. Christ, he becomes your life. You know, you esteem his body. You, you celebrate the, the cup of the new covenant. You see, you walk in love. You're at peace. You see, well, peace in you is, is immunity from sickness and from and from failure mm -hmm. uh, praise the lord mm -hmm. so uh, what does it take to stay to be or stay strong in the spirit the word and prayer <laughs> praise the lord which makes you prosperous by definition by the definition of the yeah. scriptures that, that we've been using we've been using uh, well, yes i think also uh, we have sort of uh, run out of time mm -hmm. And I believe this has been very enriching. Again, we, we apologize about the delay and the technical you know, uh, issues, but we hope to you know, rectify that uh, better next Thursday. And uh, I just feel like you know, what you're mentioning here, as we wind up, is that we have to be mindful of also eternity. Because you say one of the biggest blessings we've been, we've been handed to is, which you live in the world, mm. is eternity. Mm -hmm. And so when you say you find a girl who's doing all kinds of things, 
but they're not fully aware of how that might impact. And they're Maybe just the next 20 years or 40 years. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. It, it might. And so I think what salvation gives to us is because God is an eternal God. Mm -hmm. And that ought to be the way we... He, 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 his ideas are eternal. Mm. Why, why did Jesus come? It's for an eternal purpose. Mm. It's not for here. Mm. So if we look at prosperity in a certain context, mm -hmm. we will miss it because it will limit us to our life mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. But if you think about it in terms of eternity, mm. you, you begin to see that it's, it's, it runs deeper. Mm. It's okay, uh, there's a crown laid out for you. Mm. Okay, are you ready for it? Mm -hmm. Are you doing anything? Are you running your race? Are you running your race? Mm -hmm. Are you... I, have you have you fought the fight of the good fight of faith? Mm -hmm. Are you have you are you positioning yourself for the crown? Mm -hmm. Now I, again, that may not sound cute right now right for, for somebody. It's healing. It's healing. healing. I know someone's being getting healed yeah, right now. You know. Yeah. And, and here, but here is the reason. The reason is that many of us have not tested the presence of God. Mm -hmm. We have not tested the goodness, the sweetness of the Holy Spirit. We have not been able to extract the power in the world. Mm -hmm. So that's why our prosperity ideas are the same as the world. Right. But, but <clears throat> and I pray that, you know, every beloved listen, I pray that, you know, uh, tonight you'll get a visitation of the Holy Ghost and, and, and He'll take you to another level. Mm -hmm. That you'll test the presence and the sweetness and the goodness of God. You know, there's a scripture. I like it. We'll wind up with that. I think it's fast growing things. Uh, one nine, First Corinthians one nine. It says God is faithful, who has brought us into partnership with His dear Son. Mm. That's prosperity. Partnership, Hallelujah, <laughs> praise the Lord. Mm. Partnership, but that may not excite you. I mean, that, that, that ought to get you off your feet. <laughs> but really, <laughs> that we should be thinking, man. <laughs> that, 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 that's not money in that. Oh, because <laughs> God has made you a partner with the healer. Yeah. God has made you a partner with Creator. Mm. God has made you a partner with the Author of life. Mm. That's prosperity. But I, I, I feel like many times we do an, we live lives of injustice where we're not giving God his just. Like, we treat ourselves with so much. <laughs> we're, 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 with so little dignity yes. compared and to the dignity that God has uh, provided or availed to yeah. us. We're, we're, we're both all these delusions and uh, these inferior realities that we have adopted. Mm -hmm. And God is thinking there's much more. This is just a. <laughs> and to him yeah. that is able to, him, yes. to, do, to do exceeding abundantly above all, we can imagine or ask mm -hmm. according to his power mm -hmm. that is at work in yes. us. That's prosperity. Amen. Amen. Well, Amen. Apostle, I think you just give a, you know, a few last words and maybe a prayer to mm -hmm. someone out there who might need this. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, uh, hopefully, you'll be up next Thursday, we'll be on time just to sort of extend this. I feel like we need to extend a bit more on this because. You know, there's a lot of undoing and unpacking that needs to be done here. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a lot of layers that we're having, that you're having to literally <laughs> peel off, off of people, including me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. last week it was a kind of bombs. Now, <laughs> now it's layers. Now it's layers. <laughs> Honestly, it's layers because if, if we've been raised in this mindset of defining prosperity by how much I have in my bank account. Yes. For this, who have had this for the and be here in the church as well. Then we are told to, mm -hmm. to take and take, and this mm -hmm. is how you're blessed. And if you, you don't have a testimony, mm -hmm. you know, your testimony has to be based on what you have. Isn't it, is it shocking? They tell us to take, and the Bible, God says, these things will follow you. Uh -huh, exactly, because I, as I'm saying to you, what the Bible says, we're, we're told that these are things we are designed to inherit, mm -hmm. not to acquire. In, in, in fact, no, the Bible suggests that we have them. So we, we, we're not taking them, no, we're just, life merely becomes uh, positioning. Right. You, you keep positioning yourself and they keep following right. you. You know, this is the priority and that's why we use that word. It says, seek ye first kingdom right. uh, and his righteousness. Right. And all these things will work. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You will take them, no. you will grab them. No. <laughs> <laughs> they will elude you. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. They, they will follow yeah. after. Yeah. Yeah. But now when we follow after these things, then the kingdom eludes us. Exactly. And then, and then we're like the rest, and, and we're stuck. And please note, you know, beloved listeners, when you're born again, eh, you're different. Eh? You're not the same as the people in the world. Mm. So when you try to act like them, you fail. Mm. Did you notice that's that? True. That's true. I, I can't steal. I'm, I'm a test. I, I, I can't grab land. 
I, I cannot be dishonest. That's very true. So, so how am I going to get That's rich? That's very true. There has to be a, a Christian way to go about this. Yes. Wow. I, I, uh, I pray, I pray. You know, I feel somebody out there that um, uh, you're hungry. You know, you're hungry. You're hungry for something you do not know. You, you've been hungry. You, you're on a search. You really, you, you've been searching. I, I see two people particularly. You've been searching and you, you know, uh, you, you're beginning to wonder about life. You, you've had some things you've said, some things, you know. Life, you're young and, and life is not making sense. And, um, and this is what God says. He says, he says, now is your time. Now is your time. Now is your time to receive, uh, uh, to receive vitality in your spirit. And that vitality comes by the Holy Spirit. So wherever you are, you lift your hands, you lift your hands, you lift your hands and the Holy Ghost, you know the Bible says, and, and then Jesus was preaching, and the word of the Lord was present to heal, and there was power, there was power present to heal people. You know, uh, the, the, whenever his words are going forth, there's power going along with his words. His word is life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for those hungry spirits. For those, you said in your word, blessed are those who are poor in spirit. Blessed are those who are poor in spirit. My God, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, touch them now. Touch them. Touch them. Renew and refresh their spirits. In the name of Jesus. Feel the longing of their hearts. Yes, direct their souls. Direct their souls that they will know that which they really need rather than what they really want. But I thank you right now. Yes, you, you poured out your spirit generously upon all flesh. Thank you because you are you're pouring out your spirit. Your word says, those of you who are weary, those of you who are burdened, come unto me. Come unto me and I will give you rest. I thank you, Father, that there's rest. That there's rest. That there's rest. There's rest going forth by the Holy Ghost. As you say, my master, does any of you thirst? Come and drink. Now is the time to drink. Touch Holy Ghost. Touch. Refresh and renew those hungry spirits. In the name of Jesus. In the name that's above all names. Refresh them. Thank you, Father. I give you praise. Faithful are you, O oh God. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. Jehovah is your name. Hallelujah to the King. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. Thank you very much, Apostle Raymond. Hallelujah. Thank you. I hope someone out there, the two people have been blessed, and more than that, uh, today we've had quite a bit of a uh, uh, following, and we thank you and we appreciate you for taking the time you know, to watch. Uh, thank you from my uh, from the bottom of our hearts, I thank you, Sam, who just got online. Someone says, in Balam says, I have a post very mode watching from South Africa. Thank you very much. I think wow. you can also actually go back and watch it from the beginning. Uh, that way you'll be able to catch up on how we began. Uh, thank you very much, our lovely listeners and our, our viewers on Facebook and on YouTube and on radio. Please take the time to come and pass by. You know, a lot of what we share here comes from how, what we learn uh, here in church. And so it's very important that, you know, uh, you get a bit of context and if you're not able to do this and you're outside the country you know from within you can actually catch us online from our Facebook you can follow us you can subscribe to our YouTube and uh, follow us on radio all the links are up on Facebook just at the top and uh, yes if you're within please come to Lunguja and um, I don't know the plot number it's house number five Kalima Road Kalima Road mm -hmm. uh, please come down on Wednesdays we have fellowships from 7 to till about 10 and um, Sundays from 9 to 11 a.m. and the most important day uh, here at Breakthrough is Saturdays uh, we get to have Bible study and you're actually able to understand the word in depth uh, which will be able to you know alleviate all these things that we're talking about <laughs> but we struggle with uh, understanding the word poverty alleviation yes yes. Mm. yes and so yeah I think that is good Fridays we have overnights <coughs> Or we get to you know come and pray and commune together from and seven to eleven. Yes, uh, from seven to eleven, and so 
Thank you. Thank you for those who are partnering with us, those who are supporting the ministry and making it possible for us to bring this gospel to you in a manner that is worthy mm -hmm. from on high. And uh, that is big. I'm, I'm personally, of my own personal standpoint, I, I, I enjoy this because it's liberating me from all these things that I've been that I've been trapped in. Mm. I've been trapped in, you know, performance orientation, trying to strive to get things done, you know, trying to strive to make sense of helping guys understand me and self-promotion and things like that. So I'm, it's helping me learn that the power is the divine power mm. <laughs> at work. Is at work, and in so I, and mm. I think I think you will suffer, you know, being able to 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 for God enabling you to teach me these truths. It's very uh, enlightening. And so. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Periscope, and on radio, mixlr.com slash breakthrough, which is B-R-E-A-K-T-H-R-U. You can find it on our Facebook, pretty much. And look up our, our, break, our Breakthrough Miracle Life. Uh, you can find us on Google Maps as well. So if you're looking to come here, please just check us up on Google Maps. We'll direct you straight at the gate. And you can come and join us and be a part of this, you know, great, great thing. So again, we're here to... Uh, for the lost and list of the last and precise into race champions it's all here so thank you very much for me and apostle raymond we love you very much and we hope that this has been beneficial to you and until next thursday be blessed amen <laughs>